actually that's a that's a, that's a very nice grind. Look at that, friends. We are we are just under the corner. What to me is a perfect grind. Vice, uh, Vice Grip Garage uh, jersey on. I'm getting ready to maybe do some mechanics today and start an old truck. No, I doubt it. I'll be on a power saw at some point. Apparently, I got a package coming from a, a saw builder that I'm kind of excited about. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens there. But anyways, friends, I've been cutting like mad, doing all kinds of crazy stuff all over the place. And uh, I'm just going to start picking away at the footage and building you guys some videos to watch. Let's get after it. Okay, friends. Well, we had a blowdown little issue here where I'm with Morgan so we got <laughs> so he's got a little situation here they push them over with the excavator one's a balsam the one on the bottom but the other one's a fur friends this is the perfect time to use um, let's say the tin man saw like a smaller saw beak so friends, in creating the baby C, you'll notice on the side of the tooth, I'm only engaged in half of the tooth, like half of it, literally. It's like a square ground chain, but it's round file. We call it the baby C. Now in order, I'm starting this brand new on a chain. You will notice the burr at the top plate come off. There it goes. It just flipped off the top. Now I've created my profile. You have to have a strong hand on the file. You can either slip off the top. You have to create a new baby C in order to do this. You see what's happening here? So this is now coming. Once it's there, it's there. Look at the burr. I can even see it with my eyes. It's coming off the top. There it is. I see it. See, I'll even show you with the, with the file. There it sits. There it goes. I'll bet you can see that. There it is. It's flaking right off on the file. Talk about some good freaking footage. The guy running this camera is a savage beast. Now, so this is how this, there's no other way to do this. You have to stick in there. So when I'm done, I'll just, I'll pull away and I'll show you what you, what you end up with. I'm not, I'm not done to where I like it, but I will show you the profile of the tooth. Now look at that. That's called the baby C. I'm just showing folks how this is got. It's called the baby C. Now, what I'll do is I'll flip the saw around and I'll show you what it looks like. It's not as powerful as the, as the 75, you know, the big bore, like, like this is nice. This is the perfect, I'm just gonna zap this into firewood. It's up in the air. Let's just have a little fun. Let's go for it. So friends, I'm just gonna splatter on here a minute. So this is a 28 inch bar on a Tin Man 66 build. This is the saw that actually went back to him. It's on his channel. He totally redid the whole thing. This is the perfect power saw, perfect bar length for this little situation. I'm cutting this firewood for this gentleman. We come back and do the balsam at a later date. We were just here. This was the day I got my U-joint fixed with my buddy Morgan. But this baby C, friends, it takes a lot of work. This was an experiment that I done, okay? It's an experiment, it works, it takes a lot to get to. Is it worth it? Ah, yeah, I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm a square ground guy. I'm going down the square ground road, but it freaking cuts, friends. It really does. So anyways, let's enjoy some of this. Friends, I come back later and do another run 
and I debone it. You'll notice I go back, see, and I'm kind of checking the measurement with my boot. I come back, I clean up all the little nubs off it for the gentleman, and uh, we, we just, we do the whole process. There I am doing some of it there, but I do do all that. I, do, I actually come back and do the whole thing and clean them all up. log starts to raise up now because it was a blowdown or a pushover so now it's going to start raising up slowly watch it there it goes there so keep an eye on it So friends, do you remember when I one, knocked on that couple's door and wanted to help with the firewood, get it bucked and split for them and, they, and the guy chased me away? Remember that? Well, it's still there. I'm driving by it right now. And uh, yeah, it's, it's still there. Yep, there it sits, just sitting there. So the other day I stopped by, okay, I stopped by. I happen, I drive by all the time just to see if I can see them in the yard. I'm not gonna knock on their door no more, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not, that, that's pestering people and I, I don't pester people. So I saw them, they were actually jumping out of their car with groceries. He looked, he looked like he might've been limping. Do, do you know what I mean, friends? Like he looked like he might've been limping a little bit. And I just wanna help them. So I, I pulled over and I said, hey, um, Let's get that done. Let me help you. Like, you guys know me, right? I just want to rip some saws and get some axes out and fix them up and get them set up. She jumped out of the car. She was like, please help. Please do it. He's like, we're okay. Don't worry about it. Friends, listen. A message to men, okay? I don't know where you come from. I have no idea where you come from. You have no idea where, where I come from. You have no idea why I wanna help people. You, you have no idea. Why? why, why does this bucking character just wanna run a power saw and split wood for people? Why? You don't have to know. I can tell you, but it's probably gonna be a waste of my breath and energy. Why do you not accept the help? Why, why, why do we not accept help? Men, men, I'm talking to you, fellas. Why, why, especially when you're, you, you, you look like it might be a big task for you. I'm just, I'm just saying, why? Tell me why. Hey, I got pride. Don't, don't think it, I, I'll be smashed up half dead laying in a ditch with one leg and I'll say I'm fine. I'm, I got this, don't worry about it. I get it, I get it. 
But where does it end? Where does it end, fellas? Where, where does that where does that thing end? I don't know. I think it's I think it's different for everybody. I think it's an individual thing. But I'm gonna check my mail. And uh fellas, it's okay to accept help. You're, you're not gonna be weak. You're you're not gonna seem weak or 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 incompetent or uh you're, you're gonna actually seem smart. Especially when you've got partners and other people that want things done and I understand that you wanna do them. Accept the help. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do it forever. So I just wanna help. I'm just checking my mail. Oh yeah, we got mail. Talk to you in a bit. <laughs> What's up, Morgan? Oh. That was dry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there's no there's no there's nothing left. <laughs> Look at that, friends. Dearly departed. <laughs> Dearly departed. Oh, that's funny. I can't even that yeah. I bought it like this and I heard a clunk and I just never thought of whatever. Uh oh, what do you got there? Ooh, nut grabber. Channel locks. So I just finished climbing, or not climbing, um, cutting trees for Morgan. Oh, there's the big old Dalmar too, though. Oh, there's Donnie Walker. He likes every time he comes into the shop. Oh, he it's starts, like a candy shop here. He starts poking around, putting his fingers here and there. Trick and or treat. He says to me, friends, he says, uh, Bucking, you know, I'm doing, I says to him, I like them vintage saw videos you're doing. I've been, I love those. And he says, yeah, I was thinking about doing this and doing that. And he starts talking about the Poolins. Friends, listen, Poolins had a freaking day with some of their bigger saws. They were raced, actually. Weren't they, Don? Yeah. The Poolins. Ron right? Hartel had the fastest hot saw for years, the Poolin. That's right. It was actually the Pioneer kind of model, the one that was the high performance one. Um, sort of like that one you got there, I think. Yes, it was. It, that it, one there it, had it the was, boost cord in them. You got it, the 655. Yeah, read valve. No, that thing kicked ass every year. They, they did, yeah. yeah. I got a couple of them, 455 and that. But, but anyways, he starts poking around at this stuff here, friends. And he says he's thinking about doing a kind of an old... What were you saying, Donnie? Like, what, what's kind your idea? Oh, cut off with some old vintage saws that are in the ADCC range. Yeah. Versus the kind of mid mid eighties ones, late seventies and eighties, and the brand new one. So we'll just kind of have a assortment of them from like different it. manufacturers. Yeah, in different years. In different years, yeah. Yeah. From kind of the beginning to the to to now. Yeah. And then we'll have a little cut off and just uh, show them all all the different ones and talk about the the history of them and how they were built and where they were built. I like the idea. So what I'm saying, friends, is that old pool and counter vibes coming down. And we're going to hand it to the, the famous Donnie Walker here. We're not going to do any pulling and pulling on it. It's going to run. That's right. Here, we'll, here I'll, I'll, I'll one yeah, hand everybody. it down. I'll get it. Down. Okay. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, yeah. Look at this old baby. I worked on tons of these years ago. Oh, I'm t they're a cutter. They are a cutter. Cutter by 5200. But you know what it's got in it? Which I don't want in it anymore. What's that? Is the um, governed carb. Govern carburetor. I want to get rid of it. Oh, I can get rid of that. Not a problem. This is going to be a nice little bill for bucking, and we'll get this into the ADCC class. Oh, I'm excited. So, That's, nice old green pool ad. It's 85 cc's, and you'll probably run into some slop here and there as far as like, like you know, mounting bolts or whatever, but I'm oh, sure yeah. you'll... I could find some. It's all standard screws. Cool pipe they had on them in those days, Look, eh? I know. And that came from the factory. Yes, it did. They didn't really care about spark arresters in those days. That's factory, isn't it? Yep. I know. I love it. I think that's incredible. Pointed just perfect, too, eh? Just yep. the way I do my pipes. You got it. Right on, Bucking. Yep. We're going to get that happening and uh, I like it. get some logs, and we'll do that soon. I love it. I'm excited about it, actually. So, friends, I, I uh, Donnie stopped by to pick up the uh, the Echo because the, the tank was broken. He's, he's got a tank coming for it. He's going to bring it back to me. I want to run that. I was hoping to run that sucker um, on that job that we were out with Morgan. But, oh, and I give him an ax, friends. He brought me a head one day. Thanks, Bucket. You're very welcome. You can throw it if you want. 
<laughs> no, don't do that. No. That's too nice. I will be throwing it though at my target. Good. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna get that thing fixed to give it a run. And then uh, today I'm going up. Remember those blowdown I showed you in one of the last videos? That big balsam, it's not massive, but it's a good size saw or tree to run uh, some saws I'm gonna bring down there with fresh ground chain by hand, skip tooth right here. This is by hand and I'm gonna do some testing. This is Walker's chain, the WSS chain, but it's not, you'll notice, uh, I'll show you at a better, a later date when we get out there. It doesn't have a, a real, like, you know, you hear guys talk about chisel, like full chisel. This is chisel chain, but it's got a little bit of a roundness to it. You can see it there as I closed up, close up. Look at friends, see it? See, it's just a little round. Whereas the EXL and the still are, are definitely a full on chill. <laughs> There's so much on to go. I got footage like all over the place. Anyway, friends, I'm going to end it there because if I show more footage of the, it'll, the next video will be, it just won't make sense. I want to build a story in each video. I try to do my best. It is Wednesday. I'm waiting on the UPS truck. Apparently there's a saw coming here from someone on our trip. Mm -hmm. From when we were on our trip. Friends, you know, oh my gosh, I, I have to be careful what I say. I don't have to be, I choose to be. I do, I choose to be careful what I say because I'm in charge, right? I, I'm in charge of, of me and our world right now. And this is just my opinion. This is just strictly my opinion and everyone has one, right? Everyone has an opinion and I, I, I get it. What happens friends is I get emails from folks who are planning on starting a, a YouTube channel. And obviously they've been following me and, and they, they, they see that I have had some relative uh, um, success, I guess, uh, on YouTube. So I get people asking me, Bucken, what do you think about this or what do you think about that? And friends, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't know what to answer the question, what do I think of what you're asking me? Because it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It matters what you think. Truly, friends, I, I'm being as honest as I can. And, and I I get a lot of, friends, I answer a lot of freaking comments. That, that video yesterday of, of the story of the recipient program, how that, how that spawned, that was a personal story of mine. It was a personal, meaningful, it was a, a life-changing event for me, friends. I'm not maximizing the story. It was life-changing. I incorporated that into my business and into my life and I never struggled again. The phone started ringing. My life started to do better, friends. I'm telling you right now, I stole and lied, okay? I did. I, I had substance problems when I was a younger man. And I, I worked all kinds of meaningless jobs. I shouldn't say meaningless because they weren't meaningless. They were steps to put me to where I am today. There's no wasted time in my mind. So, but again, I, I, I get off track easily. That's how my mind works. But I don't know what to say to your to your your suggestions as far as what you should do for a YouTube channel. All I can say is I was very, very careful about how I presented myself on YouTube when I came to YouTube. I, I, I would have been, well, I got laughed at anyways because I'm a funny fella apparently, I've been told so. But to come onto YouTube and jump into the arena and just share your life is probably the, the most easiest thing you can do. 
if you're planning on doing a channel. If you're planning on copying somebody's format, sure, sure. But one thing I need to say to those people that send me these emails, and I get them, friends. I get them. I get them quite often, actually. And, uh, and, and I think it's great. And, I, and I, I honestly say, I say this a lot, it, you, you have to work to be re, or work really hard to be broke in this day and age. I hear a money-making machine right now in the back 40 there. It's a lawnmower. I hear it. Can you hear it? Yeah. There's a lot of people out there that, that don't want don't to uh, uh, mow their lawns. It, it, it's a problem for them. So whether it's time, age, you know, physical, there's so many little things floating around out there that you could do. And guess what? YouTube, most definitely social media is one of those things. But, but I, I will say this. I never came to YouTube to make money. I never even knew it wasn't even like, it, everybody's different friends. And, and there's people that come on YouTube and they've, they've got channels that are fairly new and they say to you right on their channel, I'm here to make money. They'll tell you that, which is great. It's at least they're honest. At least they're honest. Like there's, I, I've seen a couple channels in the last maybe six months that, that people have come right, come right on and said, I'm here to hopefully supplement my income with YouTube. They've said it right out. Friends, I got to tell you, that was not in my realm when I started my channel. It just wasn't. I, I just turned on the camera and started doing things, sharing. So everybody has their own genre of, of things or avenues they're going to go to do. But here's, here's what I will tell you. People who ask me that question. Is your viewers are not dense. They're not. You've decided to go on YouTube. You've decided to say, hey, look at this, what I'm doing. That's your decision. So for you to get mad and get all hurt feelings because someone says, comes in and says, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. You're doing that all wrong. You're a fool. You've, you've, you're allowing people to do that by, by having a YouTube channel. I've said this before, but I, I, I get these emails. I've, I've, I'm repeating myself now, but, and, and I try to answer the question as best I can. And I, do, I don't know the answers. I don't know what I think because I don't really think much about it. I just do things. So stay true to yourself. Do something that you're good at you know what I mean? Because people will see if you're not and they'll go, okay, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, but he's pretending to know. People will sniff you out fast. Human beings are, are animals and we have senses. Some people more so than others. Some people are really in tune and they can see and feel the vibrations of your, even your comments. I feel, I feel vibrations in comments. I can feel when someone doesn't like me or I can feel when someone's being very genuine and sincere, like, hey, Buck, and, you know, yada, 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 or whatever it is. I know. Here, let's just turn that on. I know when people are being sincere and I know when people are trying to get at me. But I consent that. I, I allow you to, to, to get at me. Or I don't. And that's why you hear me say, I am invincible. I am. I'm invincible. And so are you. And I've said this many times and I will continue to say it. Because if you really, really think about it, if you really think about it, like, like seriously, like psychologically think about it, you put something on YouTube that works for you, just say you just something that has worked for you and served you well in your life and you bring it to YouTube, that's your rendition of what works for you. And you're trying to share it with somebody. And you're going to have 30 people come in and go, I don't do it that way. And that's stupid. Why don't you do this? <laughs> right? Now, what are you going to do? I'm asking you, what are you going to do? Are you going to go, 
oh, well, that, no, that's, that, that way's stupid. My way's better. And, and this is why my way's better. You know what it boils down to for me, friends? Is energy. How much energy do you actually have to justify your existence to people? To justify why you do things a certain way or why this way you should do that. How much energy have you got? And do you even care? That's all personal stuff. I particularly don't. I'm just here sharing my life experience. It's working for me. I don't have any special recipe. People think there's a recipe. Uh, there's not. But make no mistake, your viewers are not stupid. They're not stupid. And they will sniff you out if you're trying to pull the wool. They will sniff you out. Friends, thank you so much. I'm going to end it here. But I just, I, I get these emails quite often. And I wanted to just touch on it again. Because I feel, I feel sometimes like I don't get to a lot of emails I do my best in the comment section. As you'll probably notice, I'm in there quite a bit. But emails I suffer on. Uh, Instagram uh, DMs I don't really get to. TikTok, I have a small TikTok. I don't really know how to work it. This is my gig right here. YouTube. This is where I've chosen to, to be. Because I believe that it is a wonderful, wonderful platform to share your life and a message, and life things. So to all the people that come here, and that have been coming here for years, I love you. And to the new subscribers, you don't know who I am yet, you've just pulled in. And you will see a lot of power saws here, you'll see a lot of axes, you'll probably see some of this jibber jabber go down sometimes. But you be the judge. I ain't trying to sell you nothing. And I ain't trying to convince you of nothing. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. I am trying to let you know that you are being watched. You are. You're being watched. Yeah. By who, you say? Oh, uh, the universe is watching you. Yeah. The natural laws of the universe are keeping tabs on every thought and action that you do. And it turns to energy. So if we were all thinking about one thing, which would be love and being kind to one another and helping each other out, not worrying about where we're getting ours, instead worrying about other people, we would notice an incredible phenomenon happening and it would happen quickly. It would. So, so I, I am here to, to, to spread a message. And you can't hurt me. No. No, you can't. No, you can try. But I allow that to happen. They're my feelings. So I'm, I'm kind of in charge of those suckers. <laughs> right? Yeah, just as, as you are. So if you choose to get hurt, that's on you. That's on you. And if you're offended, that's on you. It is. So remember, you have the choice to be invincible. You do. And to be free and happy and giving and loving. You have those choices. And you also have the choice to think that you're getting a hard short end of the stick and a hard run and a hard deal and play the victim. You, that's your choice as well. And, and look for attention in negative ways. That's another choice. We've got all these choices to make. Friends, work hard. Be honest. And be kind. And I'll see you on the next video.